impedance value is complex number consists of real number plus minus imaginary number real number in the form of resistance and imaginary number in the form of reactance mathematically could be written as z equals to r plus minus jx there are two kinds of reactants xl inductive reactants equals to 2 dot pi dot f dot l on positive side and xc or capacitive reactants equals to 1 per in parenthesis 2 dot pi dot f dot c on negative side at horizontal axis is normalized resistance and at this bending curve this is normalized reactance positive reactance and at this bending curve this is normalized negative reactance application one learn where to put load impedance or ZL at Smith chart for example known ZL equals 75 plus J100 ohms Z0 or transmission line characteristic impedance equals to 50 ohms answer because out at the reactance part sign is plus as here so this load has inductive characteristic normalized impedance equals to ZL divided by Z0 equals to 1.5 plus J2 this is normalized resistance 1.4 1.6 the middle is 1.5 and stretch up here to the positive side until reaching plus J2 bending curve this is this is the point we give mark here application 2 why to get accurate load or antenna SWR measurement physical length of transmission line connecting load or antenna with SWR meter should be multiplication of half lambda note physical length equals electrical length times velocity factor this is the normalized slot impedance of 1.5 plus J2 this red mark and we are now going to use half lambda transmission line connecting this load to measurement equipment which is SWR meter this is around quarter lambda
and this is full health lambda you see here the measured load impedance at SWR meter reading is the same with the actual normalized load impedance here back to the same value if the transmission line is half lambda or its multiplica multiplication but if the length for example only around quarter lambda then the normalized impedance is 0 0.22 minus for example here m minus uh, j0.3 so the measured load impedance is different with the actual impedance here application 3 a loop antenna has impedance of 100 ohms the transmitter and transmission line use have uh, impedance and characteristic impedance of 50 ohms so how to utilize semi chart to make SWR equals to 1 or in another word without considering loss forward power is 100% Answer antenna SWR before impedance matching equals antenna impedance divided by transmission line characteristic impedance equals 100 divided by 50 or 2. RG59 coaxial cable has characteristic impedance of 73 ohms so this 73 ohms is going to be used as normalized factor load impedance is 100 ohm so normalized load impedance is 100 ohm divided by RG59 uh, characteristic impedance which is 73 ohms equals to 1.37 we give mark here at 1.37 and now at the other end of transmission line RG59 the impedance should be very close to 50 ohm normalized 50 ohm is 50 ohms divided by 73 ohms equals to 0 0.68 should be around here So let's draw a circle
you see here after quarter lambda the normalized resistance is around 0 0.2 70 to 0.72 from Smith chart normalized impedance with quarter lambda RG59 is 0 0.72 plus J0 or impedance is 0 0.72 times 73 equals to 52.56 ohms or antenna SWR with quarter lambda impedance measure equals to 52.56 divided by 50 equals to 1.0512 close enough to SWR equals to 1 so this is the good condition conclusion physical length of RG59 transmission line should be used to match antenna impedance is quarter lambda long